Is this Vermont or heaven? It's Vlogmas year 11. Greetings, loved ones. Not me starting the vlog today at 1 p.m. Oops. I slept until like 11-ish, and then I just cuddled my dogs in bed until 12. And then I was just doing all of the like details, thumbnail, whatever, of uploading yesterday's video. That was a really long video. It was like almost an hour because I talked so much about my first trimester recap and symptoms and stuff. And I knew it would be long, but I didn't think it would be that long. You know what I mean? So hope you guys like it. I mean, I know you love my long videos. But anyway, um, today's football Sunday and I have a couple of things to do today. One, I have to shower. Two, I have to go grocery shopping because we don't have like any of the stuff that we normally have every single day. I've been having avocado bread. I'm not even gonna go as far as to call it avocado toast because I'm too lazy to even toast the bread. I just eat it all raw. But I have that literally every day after I have a baby pouch and I don't have any avocados right now. And it's just making me go insane. I'm just having like buttered bread and stuff, which is still good, but I need to definitely go get some groceries, more sourdough, more butter, more avos, what else? Else, coconut water, um, all of our daily essentials. So we'll go and do that in a little bit, run some errands, but I need to be like more presentable before I go out on the town. I'm so excited to go in the car with you guys and just listen to Christmas music. Like that is just my elation. Illumination! Every time I say elation, I always have to say the minion voice illumination. I don't know why, it's just like something in my brain. Anyway, I need to go have my buttered bread because all I have was my baby pouch and it's getting very late. And if I don't eat now, I'm gonna go crazy. I mean, if you guys watched the whole first trimester recap video, first of all, hats off to you. And second of all, you get me now. Like you understand what's going on in my body and I just need food. I need food all the time. Like sometimes Finley and I will be driving in the car and he'll just hear me like crinkling something and we'll be like, yeah, it's snack time. <laughs> Yep, you know, I brought a jar of nuts or I made a stop at the country store to get some kind of a baked good. Like I'm always snacking. Never not snacking. <laughs> That's what I say about myself. What else did I have to do today? Oh, big thing, I have to pack because tomorrow I'm driving down to Rhode Island to see my girlies. I'm gonna see Sasha, Silence Hippie on here, Lala, who you guys met in like a fall vlog. She was also in my pregnancy announcement video, which was so funny because that was the first time I ever met Lala and like within minutes of meeting her, I was like, so I'm pregnant. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna meet their friend, Casey, who I haven't met yet, who is the owner of Island Wellness Center. If you guys watch Sasha's videos, she has a lot of like, you know, fellow weedy creators in her life and all three of those girlies I just love them. I love following their accounts. I love watching them smoke together. I love, you know, living vicariously through them. I obviously have not been partaking for a very long time. Even when I wasn't pregnant, I had significantly cut down on my consumption, but I'm not going to Rhode Island to like watch them, you know, be cannabis creators. I just wanted to give you a little backstory on like them, you know, but we're gonna be staying at an Airbnb in Providence and just bopping around Providence for a couple of days. I'm gonna be there Monday through Wednesday, I believe. And Finley's gonna be here with the dogs. He's actually, he has to take them to the vet on Tuesday because I won't be here. But yeah, I'm really excited for just like a girl's trip and I love these ladies and it's just like a fun little Vlogmas activity. So yeah, I wanted to tell you guys that, that today I have to pack for a little girl's trip and do some laundry too. I have a lot to do, so let's start doing it. The last piece of my bread loaf was freaking moldy today. Flop. So instead I'm having two English muffins with butter and Redmond salt. Hi dogs. Did everybody sleep good? Take this downstairs? Yes, please. My laundry man doing my heavy lifting. Larry loves football Sunday. What if I wore my hair like this every day? Brushed out and braided. Greasy bangs. This could be a look, you know? <laughs> this could be a shirt, actually. Grocery errand fit. My ooted. I'll put up the day. So these are actually still available. I just have been forgetting to tell you that for whatever reason, but you can still get Vlogmas merch if you want it. So it's linked down below and then nor my half days shell. This is like my new favorite jacket. It's so warm and it's truly just like perfect for winter um, because you know, it's waterproof, it's gonna protect me. And I need it to be waterproof today because it's raining. So I also have my hunter rain boots on, which are really muddy right now. I don't really know why, I guess. 
probably just from the last time I wore them. I also just have to say that there is no better day for my skin in my life than the days that I dermaplane my face. I like shed an entire layer of dry skin today and like she's giving, you know? I'm looking radiant. <laughs> okay, I'm just making a little list, poking around in the refrigerator, holding my nose still because it stinkers in there and just compiling everything that I need. I think I have an idea of everything I need. All right, let's go get in the car. I can't get over how cute the house looks with our new roof on it. I just love it so much. The pigs, I just threw them a watermelon outside of the front door. So they're just having that and I'm gonna go run errands. Wahooey. Also while I'm out, I am going to deliver some Christmas cards to our neighbors. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm also gonna pop one in the mail for our realtor who helped us find this house as well. I'm getting some gas right now, but I wanted to open a little package with you guys. I was waiting on this. Actually, my original plan for telling our grandparents that they were going to be great grandparents was to have them open these in the mail and then just like call us. But um, I ordered these off Etsy and they ended up not getting here in time. So then on Thanksgiving, we were like, let's just call them and tell them and then I can send them these later on. I'll just show you one because they're kind of all like bundled up and bubble wrap and stuff like that. They're glass ornaments that say, hi, great grandma or great grandpa. I can't wait to meet you, baby Orstrom, May 2024. And they're for their tree. Very sweet, very cute. I'm gonna mail those out probably tomorrow, but I'll have to pack them up individually to each of our grandparents. But I just wanted to show you because I checked my mail when I left the house. Okay. Hi there. Could I place an order for a pickup for an extra large cheese pizza? Do you have anything else? That's it. It's going to be 1898 because number 33 and we'll have it ready in like 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. She didn't even ask my name or anything. Could be for anybody. 20 to 25 minutes. All right. I'm going to do a power shop. I'm at the co-op and then I'm going to go get a pizza. I drove by Vermont Inn Pizza on the way and I was like, mm, I haven't tried that place yet. And I hear that it's good. People call it VIP. So I'm like, I might try it. <laughs> All right, y'all. I power shopped at the co-op and finished up within like 20, 25 minutes. So I ran to get my pizza and I'm gonna do a little mukbang with you of the VIP. First of all, let's take a peek because they cut them differently around here. In New England, at least all the places that we've been to so far, they cut pizzas like this. So they don't do the like, you know, diagonal cuts. They cut them all into little squares. So I'm gonna try this out and do a review. Not me thinking I'm report of the week. Also, I just have to say, I knew about him literally in like 2013 and he's still such a legend and he's like gone viral and I'm so happy for him. Report of the week. Mm. I'd say not revolutionary. I do like though right now because I'm pregnant and for some reason my body is not adjusting well to tomatoes, peppers, or onions. Flop. I don't know why I think just all of those are like kind of acidic or something. Something about them just doesn't sit right in my belly. So I was a little nervous that there would be a lot of sauce on here. Not a lot of sauce. I love pizza though. This is pretty good, but I would say the best pizza we've had so far was that one that we had when the power went out and we had to go buy a generator down in Massachusetts. I forget the name of that place, but I'm pretty sure it was in Greenfield, Mass and it was kink fire. Mm, 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 mm. Finley's gonna be so happy when I bring this home. Also, pretty cheap. I'm so happy to be eating. I'm sorry, I'm not really even talking through this right now. I'm so hungry. All I had to eat today was my baby pouch and two English muffins and it's 5 p.m. Like I need to get my act together. That's why I had to go get groceries because I was like, I'm out of everything I love. And I just can't do that to myself when I'm pregnant because if I don't eat, I get a headache or my blood sugar crashes or I just feel sick. It's not fantastic at all. One more. I'm gonna do a real grease monkey one with a lot of cheese. Mmm, really greasy. I wonder if this is the most popular pizza in Brattleboro. I feel like probably not. I have rain on my face now from my windshield. Mmm, <laughs> pizza schmizza. Any of you PNW people ever go to pizza schmizza? I kind of miss that place. There was one in Forest Grove. We almost moved to Forest Grove instead of moving to Colton. And then the lady who we were touring the house up, we spent like three hours with her and I like baked her muffins, like lemon poppy seed muffins. And I brought them up to tour the house. And I mean, we had a great time with her. And then at the end of it, she was just like, so yeah, I'm gonna give the house to an older couple. And we were like, what? <laughs> Why did you even let us tour it? <laughs> 
ridiculous. But yeah, sometimes it's interesting for me to think about that. Like, what if we had moved to Forest Grove? We would have never met Olia and John and Steve, like all of our amazing neighbors. We wouldn't have made memories at that house, obviously. What if we had never even gotten the pigs? Because we literally got the pigs from meeting Athena, who also lived in Colton. <sighs> insane to me. But then you think about the flip side, Forest Grove is a college town. So maybe we would have had all different friends. Oh, I'm burping a lot. Sorry. It's the tomatoes. So rainy today. It's such like a cozy stay at home Sunday. And I did for a lot of today stay at home, but I'm glad that I came and ran errands and that we're doing this. I love pizza. How many times have I said that so far? <laughs> I also bought so much ice cream. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. I'm like, I don't deny myself ice cream. I have ice cream all year round. I don't care if all the ice cream shops closed for the winter here. I'm still gonna buy multiple pints every time I go to the store and I will eat a lot of ice cream and ice cream sandwiches. I don't deny myself an ice cream sandwich. I have an ice cream sandwich every day. My dad inspired me when I went home. He loves ice cream sammies. Life is amazing. Okay. This place is pretty poppin'. Maybe just cause it's really rainy and kind of gross outside and like people don't want to cook or something. So they're like, oh, we're ordering a pizza tonight or something. I don't know. Is that what people do? That's what I did. But I've only been filming for about seven minutes, this clip. And there's been a lot of turnaround in this parking lot, like really popular place. If I had to rate that out of 10, the two slices I had, I'd give it about a six. And also keep in mind, I grew up a Papa John's girl. Okay, so that's what we have it to compare it to. <laughs> Let's head home. Not me coming home and immediately going horizontal. <laughs> well, I'm actually more vertical now filming this clip, but I did eat four pieces of pizza and Finley took all the groceries out of the car, but I put them in the fridge and stuff like that. And I do have a little bit of indigestion, but other than that, I'm vibing. <laughs> but I was just talking with a friend on the phone for a little bit, which was nice. And I do have a little bit of a headache and it's a whopping 7.30. Today has really flown by. I feel like the past two days of Vlogmas have been like baby stuff, but now it's just like my regular life. And obviously I'm still gonna be like talking about baby stuff every now and again, but definitely just incorporating more of like my lifestyle back into these videos and just showing like, yeah, the real deal of every day. But a lot of that is me resting. I got some really nice comments actually on yesterday's video. And one person specifically was like, please just remember like, it is hard work to grow a baby. Like if you are sleeping a lot, that's totally fine. Take care of you. You don't need to be like cooking and cleaning and like doing all these things around the house. And I know all of this stuff, but also in my head because it's Vlogmas and I am filming my life every day, part of me is like, I should be doing more, you know? And I mean, obviously I'm still gonna like pack for Providence and stuff like that tonight. I think I'm gonna leave around like 12 p.m. tomorrow because it's not like I have to be there in any specific time. And it's gonna be about like two hours and 15 minutes or so of a drive so we'll just have the afternoon there and then I'll drive back on Wednesday. I'm very excited for a girl's trip. Come on up girly. I wish you could come on a girl's trip girly. That would be so fun. What would you do? Gossip with everybody? Tell everybody how you're gonna be a big sister? That really stinks. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta go get the laundry. Start packing my bag. I don't know what I'm gonna pack. I feel like I'm just gonna bring like comfy clothes and then maybe a couple of cute outfits just to take photos in if we go and explore around the city and like take Instagram pics and stuff. What's really great about hanging out with fellow content creators is they always want to get a little picky. And in my regular life, I don't always have people around to take a cute pic of me. So I'll definitely be getting some use out of that. We don't really have that many like big plans for the trip. I think we're gonna like grocery shop, do a little bit of cooking in the kitchen, which I'm very excited about because our oven, our new oven is still not hooked up. But I told Sasha, I was like, I'm very excited about like baking and cooking. So hopefully we can do some of that and film that for you. So that's in my plan. And I also wanna like watch a Christmas movie with them and like wear cutie pajamas and just hang and gab with the girls, maybe play some games. Like that's what I envision. <laughs> me less than 10 minutes ago. Oh, my tummy kind of hurts. Me now eating <laughs> a peppermint chocolate little ice cream thing. I don't know. It's from Alden's and I just got them at the co-op tonight because it's like a limited edition flavor and oh my god, this is amazing. This is like my first pepperminty thing of the season. I actually don't really like peppermint things. Like I won't have a candy cane or anything, but if it has chocolate around it, definitely. Look at those lights you put up. Beauties. Yeah. Yeah, pretty damn good. This light and this light 
neither of them work. When we got the roof replaced, the roofers were banging around up there and this light was flickering on and off. Two seconds to fix, honestly. I just gotta unscrew it. You just have to unscrew this? Yeah, it would probably just take, uh, it's probably just some loose connection. Well, you know, now we have the fairy lights for now, but if you want to get on a ladder while I'm in Providence, that would really be awesome. <laughs> whatever you want to do. Guys, well, I just did all of the laundry, um, just a little folding, and I'm starting to pack. It's getting a little late, but that's fine. But I'm trying to, so I don't have any Christmas vinyl. Well, I do have one, but it's all like holy music. And honestly, it's just not really my fave. So I've been listening wait, a lot. Wait, do they have uh, Casey Musgrave? Oh, we do have Casey. Oh my God, why did I? I didn't even think about that. We, have the, we literally yeah. have the KC Musgraves, yeah, Christmas album. I don't even need this, but it is a pretty good album. Vlog police, don't stop me over here. I'm gonna s sneak in a little poke event calendar. Um, oh, I didn't even film my finger. That's okay. Oh! Ah! Ah! Shit. I think today is the first shit day that we have. Silver lining, bright side. At least this stupid thing that's been blocking my fingers, making it incredibly extra difficult to get things out, is out of the way. This is what it is. A little Glaceon. Just kidding. And Pikachu. Really, really cute, except basically it's trash to me, so it's not that cute to me. Well, it's... last year you got one of those, and we put it on the tree as an ornament this year, which is actually pretty cute. It was that chicken with Pikachu, the red and white chicken. Do you know his name? De Della Bird. <laughs> yeah, Della Bird. You got so many Della Birds last year, it's so yeah, funny. Della Bird is the fucking... I mean, I got nothing against the Pokemon, but shit. Tell them about them. It just doesn't focus very fast, so it's like, what am I supposed to spend 10 hours waiting for it to focus every time? That one's not even that cool. This! It's worth waiting, okay. Maybe it wasn't that cool. It's pretty cool. It's at least pretty hard to get. You at least have to beat the DLC in uh, Sword and Shield. So, what is that? Spectreer or something? Drifloon. Boring! You always get redeemed with the one holographic in these packs. That was a holographic legendary. You can't win them all, but you can catch them all. Holographic right? legendary is a holographic win. And you are right, and I think there's gonna be a lot of repeats in here, so yikes. Okay, <laughs> Zinisty. I think we've seen that one. This is a favorite for many folks, uh, including those in the competitive circles. Cool Pokemon, good holographic, very satisfied with this one. Wow, what a treat. And a Drift Blim, so it's kind of like an upgraded piece of shit. You know what I mean? So that's good. My advent calendar time. Ooh, this might be a day for Finley. Day three. Is this the white chocolate ones? He said that he loves white chocolate and they're really not my fave. White chocolate day. Bon appetit. What a treat. Have you always really liked white chocolate? I've always liked it pretty good. Could I see it? when I didn't like regular chocolate. Well, well, enjoy. Oh my god. Drew, good thing I just vacuumed. Baby, just stop. She thinks you're playing baller. You've embarrassed yourself enough. <laughs> Bye. Look at our cute little tree at night. I love the star. It's just gorgeous. Everything about it. <laughs> All right, I packed up my bag probably like 75% of the way. I just have to pack my bathroom stuff in the morning. And to add on a little bit of zhuzh to this vlog, a little bit of meat, put some meat on those bones, I'm gonna add in some footage to the end of this vlog where it's just all of our like pregnancy appointments that we've had so far and I've filmed them for you to see now. We are going to be doing our first ultrasound today. I don't know, I'm such a mixture of like nervous and excited, but we've just been talking about birth books and the history of birth and stories and things like that on our way. And we're gonna go to the hospital right now, which is actually not where I plan to get care throughout my pregnancy, but I wanted to book an ultrasound just to like see the progress with the baby. I do wanna have a 
home birth with a midwife and I was just kind of like struggling to find the midwife that I wanted to use. And at the time when I booked this, I was just like, at least I'll have the ultrasound, you know? So we're gonna go to the OBGYN here at the hospital and get our first ultrasound. And today I am a day away from being nine weeks pregnant. So yeah, okay, we'll try to film some stuff. Put some clothes on your perf. Should I see my bum? Is it a bump or is it my lunch? That's where Bull's growing. Hi, Bull. <laughs> see bad. you soon. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to put my feet in the stirrups? I think she did say that. I wouldn't worry about it. You look like you're trying really hard. <laughs> it does feel like <laughs> you can come in. So guys, we weren't actually allowed to film in there. And At least I got that clip beforehand. I know, I'm glad you did. Yeah, we kind of sneakily filmed. They also don't use the Doppler. I thought that they would because I thought that you could use it in nine weeks, but maybe it's just like different wherever you go. But we got pictures of our peanut. Yay. And um, yeah, the baby is like a little tiny rat right now. <laughs> we kept looking at its little tail because babies, when they're in utero, their spine is like so long, it's extended into a tiny little tail and they're fed by a little yolk sac. But it's measuring right on time for eight weeks, six days. Just so exciting. Yay. Are you so excited? Mm -hmm. Finley was asking a bunch of questions when we were doing the ultrasound. It was really fast. We were out within 20 minutes. Came home from our ultrasound appointment to a little care package from Lucinda Limon. So I'm gonna unbox it for you guys because I've been having a rough go at it for the past few weeks. Just my tummy has been really bothering me. So I'll just pull everything out. Just sent me some Dots pretzels. Wow, some bubble bath. Foaming melatonin sleep bath with lavender and chamomile essential oils. Love that. Ooh, lemon poppy seed muffins. I think this is a reference to the fact that we kept calling the baby a poppy seed when we first told my family because I was only four weeks. So we kept being like, little poppy seed. Classic saltines. Love that. Oh, a new little squish. <laughs> Melzy. What is this? Is this a little, a little squirrel? That is freaking cute. Chocolate raspberry truffle Larivars. I love Larivars. I haven't been able to eat them that much throughout my pregnancy so far, but hoping for the best, you know. Um, lemon ginger herbal tea. I'm actually gonna make some of this right now because honestly, I got like raw ginger and sometimes, especially when I'm feeling really nauseous, I just don't even wanna grate the ginger or squeeze the lemon or anything. So that's very convenient. She also sent me this mama bear mug. Awesome. I'm gonna make the lemon ginger tea in this in a second. And, ooh, a candle. I wonder what this one is. Oh, cider. So weird, it was made by MH, Megan Hughes. Oh, that is good. I'm gonna light that in the other room. And she sent me a little festive pumpkin. Very cute. And I'm not done yet. A little Reese's fast break for Finley. <laughs> These are his favorite snack. That's awesome. And then she sent it all like inside of this little basket here. And then she sent me a little card. It says, thinking of you. I love you and I hope this care package makes you feel a little better. Enjoy, queen. And if anything broke, I'm canceled. <laughs> love, Linz. Oh, that is so nice. Thanks, Lindsay. Love you. Oh, that made my day. Hello, the day is Friday, November 17th. And this morning, Finley and I are going to my first home birth midwife appointment. In a previous like pregnancy update clip, I was telling you guys I was only getting intermittent care at the OBGYN in town, and I wanted to find some home birthing midwives. We're about to go on our very bumpy journey down the driveway, whoa. Did you ever call the driveway? No, I will today, oh, whoa. This is Finley and I because we got to hear our baby's heartbeat today. Yay. <laughs> but I didn't film it. Um, we went to like a naturopathic clinic to meet my home birth midwife. It basically, you know, it was just one of those things where I was like, I have my camera, but I don't know if it's like the vibe to take out right now, but I probably just shouldn't even think of that. <laughs> 
because you know I do want to get all of the memories for you guys but it was very fast heartbeat boop, 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 boop. wow my little baby in there it was the first time that we got to hear it so I'm just very happy that that was able to be done I'm 12 weeks and four days somewhere around that and I scheduled my other appointment for vlogmas then you guys will be more caught up with my scheduling because right now I'm just filming all these clips for later okay folks I'm about to go to my first appointment without Finley <laughs> during this pregnancy. He's just staying to work on the bedroom renovation and stuff like that. And at our appointment on Friday with my home birthing midwives, they reminded me just to like keep all of my appointments with the hospital that I've been getting my intermittent care at. Well, at least keep them up until week 20, they said, because they don't do, they have to like order ultrasounds at the home birthing midwife. And I'm just gonna get my last like 20 week scan and like keep all of my appointments up until 20 weeks with the hospital. So I'm about to go to the hospital right now. Okay, I actually got to the hospital like eight minutes early. So I'm just gonna kind of sit in the car and talk to you about things really quickly. So I don't know what's in store for me today. I'm getting my first physical here and in the past, I've just done like ultrasounds and like wellness checkups and stuff like that and like mental health check-ins with them which has been you know helpful and everything like that but I'm I just don't know what's going to be in store for the physical so who knows and I'm not allowed to film in there but I want to say if they do the Doppler where they can hear the baby's heartbeat I'm going to ask them if I can record like a voice memo or something like the audio on my phone and then I can put it in this video or something like that also very exciting today I'm finally getting getting my blood work done at week almost 13. I'll be 13 weeks tomorrow. Um, and they ordered this test for me when I was 10 weeks. And I've just been waiting until I've felt healthier and strong enough to put in seven vials of blood for this blood test. But basically, we can find out the gender because the baby's gender is determined at conception, they told me. So the baby already knows what it is, you know? And we did go back and forth talking about like, do we want to know? Do we not want to know? All that kind of stuff. And then we decided, yeah, we want to know. I feel like with your first, it's just like, easier to be the most prepared and then I think it's just like a broad spectrum like DNA test to just test for abnormalities with the fetus and stuff like that so I'm gonna get that done today and then we'll find out yeah within like two weeks of getting those results back but anyway I gotta head the hell in there oh damn yeah okay I gotta fill out my paperwork but I just wanted to update you Bye. All right, I just went to the country store again and got a little baked good. I'm at the point in my pregnancy where I can't go a day without a baked good. I need to have some kind of like a big sugary treat. So I got this pumpkin muffin and then I also got a blueberry turnover, which looks really good. Anyway, I'm just gonna eat this in the car while I drive home. But before I do that, I wanted to say my appointment went well. I just had a physical, they got like my updated weight and they took my number one from me, not my number two, thank God. God, that would be crazy and then I gave so much blood like an insane amount of blood so they're gonna do a ton of testing prenatals and like genetic stuff and the woman who was at the lab her name was Susan bless her freaking heart the sweetest woman ever I have like my tattoo on my arm that's you know a hand holding a flower and she was like what does that mean to you and I was like, well, you know, I love to garden and I just love flowers. And I think I just wanted something pretty that was just symbolizing like, you know, the beauty of holding a flower. And then we started talking about gardening and homesteading and pigs. And she moved up here from Maryland in the 80s. And we just moved up from Virginia, which is not too far away from Maryland. So we were talking about, you know, the DMV and stuff like that. Oh, what a woman. She also was just talking to me so much about like my pregnancy and just how sick she was as well with some of her kids and how excited she is now that she has grandkids and all that kind of stuff. And she was just so happy and so peaceful. Oh, my pregnancy hormones are making me tear up thinking about her. I loved her. I hope I see her again. All right, I hope you enjoyed those clips. I love you guys very much. You can always go and support me on Patreon, patreon.com slash Megan Hughes to join for as little as $1 a month. And I will just see you guys in the morning for Vlogmas Day 4. Stay smiling. Bye, y'all.